Hello and welcome. Today we are looking at the top five Visual Studio Code extensions for beginners. Let's get started. Before I start the countdown, a quick note for those new to Visual Studio Code extensions. To get started, click on the Extensions icon on the left side menu in VS Code in order to open up the Extensions bar. From there, click in the Search Extensions text box at the top and type in what you want to search for. And the countdown begins with number five, VS Code Icons. VS Code Icons brings a large number of icons to your Visual Studio Code file tree. This makes your file tree easier to read at a glance. With nearly six million downloads and four and a half stars, it is a very popular extension. VS Code Icons provides hundreds of icons for all types of development projects. Just search for VS Code Icons in your VS Code Extensions bar and click Install. Here is a file tree for a small project on my computer. You can see icons are added to both the files and the directory folders. At number four on the countdown is Prettier. Prettier is a code formatter. With over eight million downloads and four stars, it is also a very popular extension. Prettier applies a consistent format style when you write code. You can actually write your code however you like. When you save your file, Prettier reformats your code to apply consistent formatting. This makes your code both organized and easier to read. Here is some very ugly code with extra spaces and erratic indented margins. When I save the file, you can see how Prettier instantly reformats my code for consistency and readability. At number three is a very useful tool, Bracket Pair Colorizer 2. Bracket Pair Colorizer 2 is an extension for colorizing matching brackets. Beginning dev students frequently struggle to match up their opening and closing brackets. It is really easy to leave one out. This extension also makes it easy to visualize each code block and any nested code blocks within. I made a tiny jukebox function with nested if statements to quickly demonstrate how Bracket Pair Colorizer 2 helps you visualize each code block by drawing a colorized line between the opening and closing brackets. The older version without the two is still available, so make sure you install Bracket Pair Colorizer 2. In at number two is Indent Rainbow. Indent Rainbow makes the indentation in your code easy to read. This is also handy for identifying code blocks, and you may find it useful with Python as well as JavaScript. When using Indent Rainbow in addition to Bracket Pair Colorizer 2, it becomes very easy to see each code block. And in the top spot of the countdown, number one goes to Live Server. With over 7 million downloads and 4.5 stars, Live Server lets you launch a development server on your computer with the click of a button. Even better, Live Server has a live reload feature that automatically reloads your web app every time you save a change to your files. If you've watched any of my other tutorials, this is the extension I use to automatically update the output when I save a file. You can start Live Server for your web app by simply clicking Go Live in the bottom right of VS Code. The words Go Live will change to tell you what port Live Server is running on. Live Server will run on your local IP address, which should be 127.0.0.1, and the port number will follow. And there you have my top five Visual Studio Code extensions for beginners. But before you go, I have one bonus recommendation for you. 100 Days of Code is an extension to go along with its namesake Twitter hashtag. This extension helps you reach your goals and complete the 100 Days of Code challenge. This is an excellent choice for beginners and really anyone up to the challenge. I compare this to a Fitbit for your code skills. It helps you keep a log, provides a dashboard, tracks milestones, and rewards badges for achievements. The 100 Days of Code extension could be your extra motivation to level up your coding skills. Hi, I'm Dave, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to keep striving for daily progress instead of perfection. Subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to be alerted when I post new tutorials. I'll see you next time.